As the number of confirmed cases of measles in Clark County jumps to 41, people in Oregon say their concerns are growing too. So far, there's only been one confirmed case in Multnomah County, but Portland Public Schools are gearing up. The Oregon Health Authority says in order for the disease to not easily spread what's called herd immunity, vaccination rates need to be 95% or higher. Fox 12 has learned the vaccination rates of many campuses are actually well below that. Fox 12's Brenna Kelly is live tonight after hearing from some parents who are not happy. Brenna. Well, Liz, I took a look at all 89 schools and programs within PPS, and you may be surprised to learn that only eight of them fall within that herd immunity standard. I spoke with a parent whose child goes to a school that's well below herd immunity, and he says he's worried that it's only a matter of time before more cases of the measles crop up here in Portland. It's kind of embarrassing that we're in the national news right now because of this. The cases of measles in Clark County only continue to grow. And with one case in Multnomah County, parents in Portland are starting to do a little more research. It's very scary. Michael Johnston has a third and fifth grader at Rose City Park Elementary. According to Portland Public Schools data, about 78% of students there are vaccinated for the measles. Shocked to find that we're at 80% on most most of them was just kind of baffling. How are 20% of the people in our school that aren't vaccinated is kind of surprising. The immunization school law coordinator with Oregon Health Authority says their target immunization rate for any disease in order for there to be herd immunity is 95%. Johnston says he doesn't agree with people who don't vaccinate and says those families should not be in the public school system. If you choose to do that, that's okay. But I think if you're gonna be in a public school, then you should have to be vaccinated. That way you don't put other people at risk because not everybody can be vaccinated. There are 89 schools and programs within the Portland Public School District. According to their data, of those 89 programs, only eight of them have herd immunity. The Oregon Health Authority's immunization school law coordinator says the non-medical exemption rate, meaning parents who may opt out of vaccines for philosophical or religious reasons, is trending up. You can't put people at risk because of you're late or your opinion. I just don't think that's fair to our general society. Last week, deputy health officers from the Tri-County, Clackamas, and Washington County Health Departments drafted a letter sent to all principals within PPS. A district spokesperson says a similar message was sent to parents. Those officials wrote, The current measles outbreak investigation in Clark County raises questions about how Oregon health authorities would handle a case. They say a school can prepare by designating a point person such as a school nurse who will communicate with public health within the first 72 hours after identifying a measles case. That person, the letter says, should be prepared with student and staff immunization records to know who's at risk. Johnston says he's a clinical pharmacist and is planning on asking his children's principal what Rose City Park's plan of action is. It's known across the country that there's, there's pockets of anti-vaxxers throughout Oregon and Washington, and people come here for that reason, and it's in the medical field, you know it's just a matter of time before it breaks. Oregon health officers also said in that letter if a child is exposed, they could be out of school for a few weeks. Now, the Oregon Health Authority says overall the state has high immunization rates and there are ongoing efforts to help increase those, including offering financial incentives to certain health care providers if they meet that two year old immunization rate benchmark. Now, we know this is a lot of information, but we will have all of that and more on our website, kptv.com. Reporting live in Southeast Portland, Brenna Kelly, Fox 12 Oregon.